Folks, we just had one fired up live stream over at the Stock Squad. If you are not a member, check it out. We just added it to the class in the Stock Squad Discord. It was next level. We were digging into the crypto, digging into Tesla. We were digging into a lot of different things, but I wanna get into Tesla today because I think there's a chance that we could see a major move to the upside. And yes, we are down there. You're seeing some red. We're retesting those near lows. But I think hitting 300 a share is going to be happening here. And I'm going to go over that time frame and when I think it's going to happen. How low are we going to go before we see that bounce? I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the possible ugly. But at the end of the day, this stock has a chance to do some amazing things. So I don't, anybody that's out there watching Tesla and you have Tesla stock, or even if you're a bear, you're going to want to see this because it's a little bit for everyone. And we're going to touch on a lot of different things here. Like I said, if you haven't been over at the Stock Squad today, get over there. You're going to want to go, once you're in the Discord, hit the class channel. I just added that live stream. It was an hour and a half. Larry came on. Josh came on. I was on there. Keenan was on the road, but Keenan's coming in tonight on the channel at 7 o'clock with us. We have a live stream, all four of us, to go over some things here on this channel. It was next level. I'm telling you, get in there, join, watch that video, check out the other class stuff we have in there. It is fire. It was fire. All right, so a lot of good things. Uh, if you want to follow along, I have a live stream tomorrow just in my Patreon, the Stock Mo one. You can join at 1.15. I'll be doing day trading and other things. Uh, we have the trading class i am starting over there and i'm going to be adding materials in good stuff and of course code bread is now live b-r-e-a-d get in there put in code bread join the technical course take it to the next level get lifetime access to the course and the course is discord it is good stuff now uh what do we got here i wanted to pull up we were talking about a lot of stuff we are digging in but this comes down to tesla today and you can see what's going on here. Tesla's a little bit in the red mode. What's going on? The market's up. Yeah, and look what's going on here. You got the 20 year. You had the, the, the Fed in there talking to the government today, doing their, their whole interviewing. And all of a sudden you see the 20 year kind of moving up after it was down. And I want to talk about that a little bit with Tesla today. So I'll start with Tesla. I'm going to finish with TMF and TLT. I'm going to basically do TMF because the underlying holding is TLT with the triple leverage, but I think it's important that we start with Tesla. This is the one where I think people don't realize that we are setting up for a massive profit for those who get in at the low point, but where is the low point? So over the last five days, you can see it's just gotten hit hard, 12.96% down. How's the market, Mo? Well, over the last five days, basically flat but starting to meander down you're getting these new lower highs and it could be a sign of things to come or just a little hiccup before we move to new highs and that's the thing i don't think people don't know where we're going to go so i'm going to try to help you with this but year to date tesla's now down 28.41 percent and it seems like nothing but bad news tesla stockholders are getting hit we're getting hit hard i got hit hard uh, of course and now you come out and when it out zoom out now, over the last year, we are getting back to that, that number, 193. We're back under there now, Mo. Where are we going? Where was the low? 153.75 was the ultimate low over the last 12 months. Are we going to get back down there and retest? We don't know. We go to the five-year. What was the ultimate low back then? 122.40. Since then, and you look back here at the major, and we're talking 2020 highlight days, uh, we were in the 110s, of 130, 140s, and then we hit one low, the massive low right here. I remember that, 113.06. Everybody and their brother was selling. If you had intestinal fortitude at that moment, we broke the lows in here. The 120s, 130s, 140s broke down, massive drop, 113. If you bought at that point, you rode that up over 100 and something percent, 148 percent up. We are getting close to getting back down there. We're now down to 177. We were at highs of 407. It is now down 56%. Tesla continues to fall from those highs, but we have a massive, strong, right here, uh, level of support at 113. But is that where we're going? I don't think so. Personally, I don't think so. Uh, we are on there talking all kinds of stuff, but I wanna come in here and kind of give you my take on where we're going with Tesla. So I'm pulling up the technicals first, give you a chance to look at this because we see a lot of action out there, all right? And I'll try to 
make this simple but you can see some of my resistance some of my when we had multiple resistance points here we come down here we hit them and of course my support that i was looking at we broke that support down and then we come back up here and look what we got family we want to break back into that channel and we couldn't do it we filled that gap got up to a level of resistance and failed now since we failed on that resistance we're coming down and this is where i want you guys to understand that level of resistance was around 205. We hit 205, could not get up there, could not push, and we needed to get up above 205. We needed to break the, the, the 50 EMA, which was at about 208 and 207, depending on what day you're looking at. We were not able to do it. That point was screaming that we are most likely, if we could not break that, going to have a major wash down to the ultimate, that resistance, I should say, up here. We couldn't break that resistance we were going to move down to support so we got support down here right so the support is holding here and we get back down to support we break below support today matter of fact today we break that support and of course we move back up so the support's still holding so a few things i want people to realize we're around 175 is that support if we can't hold 175 my opinion, and I know there's others out there with different opinions, the next major line in the sand is about 165, 164, 165. We will run down to that and test. I think that possibly could hold. You can see we got down there way back here, and it, we that was resistance. We broke it. We moved up. Then that other line that is resistance, which is now support, held for a while, and we moved up. So we got a lot of lines here but they all make sense to me and of course as we come out here if this doesn't hold ultimately and i think i'm not sure if this will be the ultimate low we move down to 153.09 and retest if we confirm under that after that it gets ugly family and yes we go back to let me see if we can pull this up here uh pull up tesla and well, i'll show you this one more time you're going to go back down to that level that i just showed you here right there you're going to go down and possibly test that 113 level all right and so these are some of the lines we're looking at i'm not sure if we get there but that's not why i'm on here oh well we could go down we could go down yeah but if this holds i want you to understand if this support holds here even if we retest down to the 165 which i'm not even sure we're going to get there but if we do and that holds you could bounce all the way back up to that resistance level of 205 even at the price of 177 that's about you know what do we got 15 20 percent up movement but that's not why i'm excited i'm excited because those who are not in tesla or you're dcaing into tesla do you understand that we had highs all the way up here and 300 a piece here just a little bit ago is it possible and we're talking just a few months ago we're talking back in uh, july so the summer of last year under a year ago we were over 300. we are getting to a point that if we get down there close to 150, you're talking about 100% return on your money if we bounce back up for every dollar you buy at 150. Is there a possibility of that happening? Yes. I remember 2020, we came on here with Tesla. I was bringing it to the family and I said, look, this is one of the best stocks you can absolutely own for the long term. And it went 1,000% up in 2020. 1,000% up 10 times from the beginning. It was wild during that run. And now people see and say, oh, it's hard for a stock to go up 10, 20%. Listen, Tesla has the ability, and it can happen quickly, to go from that low, low number, say 150, up to 300 in a matter of months. And guess who else is buying Tesla now? Yesterday, I got the report. Ark, Kathy Wood, we know that they filed Tesla big time, big time. And when they start to buy, to me, that's a big flag look don't listen to what they're saying they tell you all these price predictions but when kathy woods comes out and she says let's go ahead and load up on it and they start buying well that's big and in terms of big that tells me that's not the words we're listening to it's the actions when the whales start buying we know we're at a level in terms of price that is so good because they already have a ton of this stock that it's irresistible that they could be buying other things but they're buying Tesla. Why? Because it's on sale. I, I always find it funny, family. I'll come out here and we'll see like, you know, Dogecoin, SHIB, we got Bonk, we got Ethereum, Bitcoin, everything's blowing up, right? 
are you buying crypto? And m most people are saying, yeah, I'm trying to jump in now. And it shows me that meme where Bitcoin's at 10,000, 20,000, Ethereum was at 1,000 and I was buying and everybody's like, no, it's gonna drop, I'm not buying it. And the line says Ethereum at 1,000, no, one person in line, no one else. Then it says, or no one in line. And it says Ethereum at 3,000 and there's a line out the door. Bitcoin at 10,000, 20,000, one person in line. Bitcoin at 60,000, line out the door. People are buying things that are already run up. They are afraid to buy things that are getting knocked down. Even though we know how much money this company makes, they are afraid because the stock is dropping. I look at it as an opportunity. When everyone else is fearful, I wanna be greedy. That's an old Warren Buffett statement. And I gotta tell you, the man knows what he's talking about. I think Tesla gives us one of the best opportunities long-term especially as everything's dropping. Doesn't mean it can't drop more. You can wait for that drop to hit some of these support levels. You can DCA into it. You can go ahead and even just kind of wait. Wait for a reversal using the bread recipe. And if you don't know what that is, take the course, code bread. You will see what I'm talking about. But it is setting up. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about here, TMF. I wanted to dig into this because we had a, a reversal and a confirmation I don't think anybody talked about on the channel. So I want to go ahead and put it out there. Uh, 20 year, you can see it going up again the last five days, 7.54. But check this out. I think over the last month, we're actually green now. And we come in here. I'll put in TMF on the daily. Check this out. I'll get rid of the fib here. Give me a second. Look at this. All right. And for those who have been following, we got a nice little, little cup going here. And we might see a little turn down and then a handle and an off and running. This five crossed over to the 13 using my strategy that I have in the class. And of course, I told you when it crossed here, confirmed on here, this is when you should have been buying, maybe, but you had the RSI dip. So some people waited till this candle right here and you had the five crossing the 50. And now you had a nice pump up like we would expect and the 13 continues to move up. It's not gonna be all one direction, but this was majorly a reversal. Now we will see if we can hold on. It confirmed here. Another green candle confirmation would make me feel all warm and fuzzy and would be good. But family, this was big for the TMF family. I feel great, you know? So we see it down here when I was buying, no one else was, 50, 51. Of course, I'm selling, I'm selling. Uh, and now it's all the way up to 57 something. So up about 14% off that bottom, nice little gain. Could be more if the market starts to sour, the economy sours, unemployment picks up, this is gonna run. It's already starting to run off that 50. And remember, we were buying this at 39, and now it's back up to 57. Patience for some of these, all right? So we had this major bull move here. And I'll show you one other thing, which, you know, for those who took my course, you know what I'm talking about here with the FIB. I expected a retracement. And if you come in here and look at this, the retracement should be 50 to 61% zone. So it should have went, it went all the way up to where it went. And then we should have a retracement right here, 53 to 49.60 where did it retrace to exactly that zone so it goes up has a spike retraces down to a normal correction and now is off and running after this if we confirm tomorrow we should push back up to 60 or above and at that point we should if we can confirm over that resistance we will move back up to that 67 mark and money will be made so i do want people to realize this was to be expected this happened exactly what the technicals tell us. We know there's more fundamentals behind it as well. Inflation is dropping. The Fed has told us they see rate cuts happening this year. All of this is going to lead to positive momentum for TMF. So I still like it. For the, put a fire emoji in the chat if you like it. Uh, put a car emoji if you're for Tesla. If you got either one, you can even say how many, which one you like the best. You like TMF or Tesla? Where are we going? All right, family. That's the update. I got to tell you, if you haven't done it, uh, you can go over to Moo Moo today, and this is going to expire this month, but use my link below. Uh, put 100 bucks in if you use my link. They give you five free stocks worth of 2,000 a piece. If you put a grand in, you get 15 stocks worth of 2,000 a piece. But look at this, 8.1% APY guaranteed because you get, for new users, 5.1% APY plus an extra 3% for three months. This is fantastic. This is risk-free, family. So I would take advantage of that. And on top of that, the charts I just used, you guys can get that charting software for free on there. 
You just got to use my link down below, set up the bread recipe, take advantage of it. EMAs, the RSI, the Bollinger Band, I have a walkthrough in the course. So for those who have taken my course, I added that video in there on how to set it all up in here. That's what I got for you, family. We have the live stream tonight with the squad. All the guys are going to be there, Josh, Keenan, and Larry, and myself. It's going to be fun, 7 o'clock Eastern. Make sure you get here. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.